Last time, we took an ill-advised midnight trip to the local gas station where we were accosted by other customers. We still managed to get the candy we came for despite the long lines and rude staff. Then we appropriated the contents of a local cabin, but the residents out back were very upset by our burgling. Welcome back to CDDA, everyone. I know I said we'll be going to Rosewood, and I still plan to. There's just some stuff I need to wrap up in Muldra first, like looting some houses, where I know the zombie population will be low, and gathering up some food and supplies, since things will be tough to start on Rosewood. But with that out of the way, let's get right back to it. That was a great time to eat our chips. That should separate them a little bit. That was a dangerous whiff. Alright, where are the others at? There you are. And you come with a free screwdriver. Nice. I don't even think that's a crowbar. What the heck is that? It's a nightstick. Ooh, that zombie's missing an arm. Gross. The nightstick's cool too, I guess. Let's go take a look at the houses up here now. It's usually pretty quiet over here. There will be a few, but there won't be like dozens. I get the feeling that Cinder hates Muldra. She obviously has some bad memories here. And I feel like she worked at the Rosewood fire station before the apocalypse. She wants to go home and see if any of her co-workers survived. Spoiler alert, we all know they didn't. And we don't know why Cinder was in Muldra on that fateful day, but that doesn't matter to her anymore. Moving forward is her only goal and that means getting back to her roots to start fresh. Alright, let's continue to this street. Check these mailboxes for the herbalist. Yeah, that's right, there is a few. The mailboxes are our priority right now, though. Nothing. Damn. Come on, fence zombies. I'm gonna sneak in and attack here. Got him. Good behind us. Let's take care of you, lady. Eventually I'll level up electronics. Alright, they are definitely gonna see us. So we're gonna take this nice and slow. A few more now, till I get to that precious, precious mailbox. And the last one, and nothing in the mailbox. I still have bookcases inside. Garbage bag, if we ever get to live to make rain barrels. Just jumped out that window? You were not there like 10 seconds ago. All right, there are more of you in there. You're not in there. Where are you? Oh, you're in the bedroom, I think. 
the other bedroom. Maybe two of you? I'm gonna check this stuff first. Yeah, I think there's two of them. Four on the ground. Yeah, that's two of them. Any books? First aid. It's a book, I guess. Magazines. Pants. We're gonna go the other way. Nothing in there. Just one. You're just really going at it. I'm gonna open it from the inside. There's an alarm going off in here somewhere. That was weird, my mouse. It swung, but I didn't click my mouse. Knock knock. No one in the main area. That's good. Mechanics Volume 1. Really? We have found like five copies of that. Can always use more weapons. Let's not drink it yet, it'll make us tired. Oh my gosh, eat the whole thing right now. Melted ice cream, yay! Right, no one in here. Dismantle this CD player. Take curtains for our house. I don't remember checking the other place for that. And dismantle the TV. Alright. Where are we? Got that house, we got that one, that one, this one, there's a shed over here. Let's see if we can take a peek in there before we head home. It's oddly very quiet over here, except for them. Another gas can. I think someone followed me. Or it's just the wind, as usual. Let's check in here. Oh, there's a zombie in there. Let's just open up these windows for you guys. Oh my gosh! Another clown car house. Spear out. Let's give this mailbox a drive by checking. All right, anyone following me? Most of you, in fact. 
Let's save these houses for tomorrow. Let's head back. It's getting really late. And so we headed home for the evening. Back to the rusty rifle. We put up our sheets. Organized inventory. Red first aid one. Had a little dinner. Smoked a cigarette before bed. Woke up and did it all again the next day. Not much different compared to life before the apocalypse, honestly. Alright, we are back at the next house to loot. Ran into the zombie welcome wagon. Okay, I don't like that. you guys back over towards the fence. I hate being in all these trees. Losing their line of sight to stagger them a bit. Alright, let's be careful. Okay, that was way more messy and complicated than it needed to be. But we still did it, so back to the house we were going for. Let's see what we can get out of here. Hopefully no alarm. Okay, I think we're good to go inside. I'm not seeing any in here. Let's check the rooms. Bathroom's clear. Bedroom's clear. Broken window. Other bedroom's clear. What do we got on the table? Nothing. Nothing. Let's check the fridge for food. Pasta. Take that. Take the orange soda. Rotten peas. Don't think we actually have a saucepan yet, so we'll take that. Uh, preferably in our backpack, thank you very much. And a pop. Crackers will eat those right now. And rotten mutton chop. Let's check the bedrooms. That's a bathroom, but whatever. Fill up the canteen. That's all we need for now. Oh, let me mark the map so I don't get confused again. Because I think I was already here. No, not yet, okay. Let's check out these two houses. Suspiciously quiet. Check the front of the house before we go inside. Oh, there's a bike. Oh, looks like we've been spotted. Alright, who do we got? <gasps> oh my god. That's so many. Let's try to spread them out among the trees a little, and then we'll come back for them. It's a 
for a pink tank over there. Let's keep that in mind. Alright, where's our little horde friends? Looks like we've lost some of them. Several of them didn't make it through, actually. Since we pulled them away from that house, let's check out the house they were near first. I saw a tree move. Let's go this way. Hate all these trees and the lack of visibility. I got one customer. Gotta keep your eyes peeled. I don't want to die here. And now, a message from Post Editing Toad. Having access to foraging will help us survive indefinitely, so it's paramount that we get the magazine. Plus, if we stick around here and try to look in as many bookcases and mailboxes as possible, we stand a better chance of finding the Herbalist magazine. Cinder has the weak stomach trait, and some of you might not know this, but the rules regarding mushrooms and berries have changed. Or at least have changed as far as I know. There's the one of each that's always poisonous, but there's a small chance now that any mushrooms or berries you forage can be poisonous despite the randomly selected ones at the start of your save file. But I've tested it myself across several game files and game modes. It's a very small chance, but it's always there. Had I known this originally, I would have definitely taken the herbalist trait at the start. And now, back to you, Gaming Toad. Keep an eye on our surroundings. Real quiet in there. clear. Looks like I see stuff on the counter. Vitamins and antidepressants, those will help. Alright, let's check the food. Rotten. Oh man! It rots now? I mean, it makes sense, but it still sucks. Or on the ground. Nothing. I'll take the knife. Anything in here? Another hammer. Not a single scrap of food in here. Let's go out this way just in case. Our friends have spotted us by the front door. Let's loop around and check this mailbox real fast before anyone spots us. Like all these guys right here. garbage piles. Nothing. Damn shame, too. Alright guys, come on over. Why 
Why isn't it working? Oh god. Nope. Oh, nothing like panicking. Okay. Check this mailbox real fast. Nothing. Trash. Nothing. Keep thinking trees are zombies when they go out of my vision range. Not terrible condition, but it's not the best. Alright. Wish the house looks clear. Aid kit, nothing in it. I dismantle your TV. Wait, your bookcase. A shame that ice cream rots now. <laughs> a key to the bicycle. How helpful. Griddle pan, dish towel. Not a scrap of food. That is most unfortunate. Check the closet. Another hand torch we can dismantle. Wait, I saw. Nothing in the floor stash. Hi, these houses have been a major bust. Best hope now would be to see how bad it is over at the rich homes. It's probably really bad. I'm not gonna lie. But we can take a peek. Yeah, this looks pretty awful. Oh, one sneaking up behind us. Straggler? hate this so much.
Really? Did you just break that window to come over here? Nothing. What the heck? There was one in there. I'm glad I didn't go in. I had a feeling not to. I think we should head home. This is getting too dangerous. We're getting too tired. Let's try to stick to the path. Hopefully not get got. Walk manually from here, I don't want to get surprised. Actually, I don't want to walk all the way back to the bar tonight. It's getting dark, so we should probably just rest here at this house tonight. Also, I'm going to take this garden gnome. I want it. And now it's mine. All right, hop inside. Step across the bed with our shoes like an animal, apparently. Let's shut the window and shut the curtains. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next one. This is Genuine Toad, and I'm happy to have you here.